Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at modals in React. The package we will be making use of is React Modal. Let's start off with the installation and then proceed with its usage. To get us started, I have already created a new project using Create React App. Now, make sure your terminal is opened within the project folder and then run the command yarn add react hyphen modal. Once the command completes, we can get started with the code. I'm going to open app.js and within the app component, I'm going to delete the header section to keep the HTML simple. Now, let's see how to implement a basic modal. The first step is to import modal from React Modal. So import modal from React Modal. Next, we define the modal component. This is going to be really simple. Modal, and then within the opening and closing tags, I'm going to add an h2 tag for the title and a paragraph tag for the body. That is all the content we are going to have. Now the first question is how do we open this modal? The answer is using the is open prop on the modal. So I can add is open and set it to true. If you now open the terminal again, and run yarn start, you should see the modal component with the title and the body text. Our basic modal is working fine. But we all know how a modal works. A modal is usually opened based on a user interaction, typically a button click. So before the modal component, I'm going to add a button. What we want to do here is on click of this button, open the modal we have defined. For that, instead of assigning true to the is open property, we need to assign a state variable that can be set on button click. For state, we make use of the useState hook. So import it from React, and then within the component, call the useState hook. The state variable is modal is open and the setter function is set modal is open. The default value is false. We now pass this value to is open. So is open is equal to modal is open. And then on click of the button, we have an arrow function that will call set modal is open and set it to true. So the default value is false and hence is open is false, which means the modal is closed by default. And when you click on the button, modal is open is set to true and is open becomes true and the modal opens in the browser. Let's test it out. I'm gonna save the file. Head back to the browser and you can see that right now the modal is closed and when I click on the button, the modal is opened. Now once the modal is opened, we also want a way to close it. So back in VS Code, within the modal component, I'm going to add a button to close the modal. This is going to be close. On click is going to be an arrow function which simply calls set modal is open, passing in a value of false. If I now go back to the browser, click on open modal, the modal pops up. Now, when I click on the close button, the modal is closed. Now this is good, but you will soon realize that unlike the modals you've used before, this one doesn't close when you click on the overlay. To achieve that, we need to define another prop. 
and that is the on request close prop so on the modal component on request close this prop again simply calls set modal is open with a value of false which in turn sets is open to false if you now save the file go back to the browser open the modal and i click on the overlay the modal closes and what is also neat about this is that the escape key also closes the modal now so i open the modal again press the escape key and the modal closes also if at all you don't want the modal to close when you click on the overlay you can add the prop should close on overlay click and set it to false if you now open the modal click on the overlay it doesn't close however pressing the escape key still closes the modal now all is good but if we open the dev tools console you see we have a warning this is because of accessibility reasons to fix this issue we need to define the app element on our modal import in index.js you can see that the root element of our app has id of root so in app.js we need to set modal dot set app element and the element has an id of root if you now go back to the browser the error has disappeared so make sure you set your app element the last thing to discuss is styling. To provide inline styles, we use the style prop on the modal component. On this style prop, we can specify an object with two key value pairs. One for the overlay and one for the content. I'm going to set overlay is going to be an object where the background color is gray and the other one is going to be for the content where the color is simply orange. If you now save the file and go back to the browser, click on open modal, you can see that the overlay is in gray and the modal content has a color of orange. What is happening here is that the style you specify gets merged with the default styles that react modal provides if you open the documentation and head over to inline styles you can see the default styles that is already present on the overlay as well as the content the other way is to style the modal using classes in which case you have to define all the default styles as part of the class I will leave that for you guys to explore. But that is pretty much about React Modal. Define a modal, control its state, and style as per your designs. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.